Hi everyone and welcome to this vlog. My hair is looking a little bit different today because I'm just about to get it done at the hairdressers with Jack. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. I might have a little bit of a change today because it just feels so long and flat and when I curl it it's not holding a curl or anything. So I'm a little bit bored of it so I'm going to try and switch it up a little bit. I'm obviously going to get my dye sorted because it's grown out a little bit. So I'm going to take you guys there with me to Central. I'm getting an Uber because the rain and weather's awful in London today. So so, and then we're going to do shopping tomorrow and lunch with my friend Chloe. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and we're ready to go. This is what I am wearing today. You can't really tell because it's all black. But I've got leather trousers on, a oversized knit from H&M and this coat from Karen Millan. I will link everything and I'll try and get a better out outfit shot when we're there. Because yeah, my lifts are so dark nowadays. I have no idea why. It's all Christmas here. I'm actually going to miss this apartment being in a building just like having the little community because we are moving outfit of the day this is from H&M it's just like a oversized and I got the leather trousers and these boots from ASOS I will link everything below and I'll actually show you my coat in here before we go as well um, but yeah it's just us today in the salon which is so so nice and so chilled. I'm going to pop the mask on now when Jack comes back over and then just get some extensions out. Obviously I've only got about 30 left and then Jack's actually launched his own brand of hair extensions so he's going to put them in my hair instead of these ones. A little update, Jack had a bit of an emergency so he had to shoot off from the salon. So I actually came home, I've been editing a video, I came home with the treatment of my hair and I've literally just washed it off and now he's on the way to coming back to my flat to finish a cut and put my extensions in, bless him. So it's around half six, um, so I will show you when it's done. I've got Sex in the City on, we're gonna have a tea and chill out and just obviously he's gonna finish my hair and then I will show you guys the end result tomorrow in natural light and possibly tonight if I can show you but the lighting is not best in my flat as we all know and but I'll show you the final result morning everyone it is the next day and this is what my hair looks like I wish I showed you guys last night because Jack did it fab last night it was wavy and big and obviously this is slept in now like on my silk pillowcases so it's not looking too bad but yeah I do love it he's cut like four inches off the length which look is a massive change for me but maybe obviously for other people it doesn't look that different but for me it feels like a huge change so i'm gonna pop a little bit in now and jack's gonna explain exactly what i did to my hair and then in the new year i might go in and film like a how to curl your hair tutorial because i don't know if this is something you guys want to see but i'm still really bad at curling my hair i only know how to curl it one way and the way he curls it is like big curls and it's like i can't explain it but i love the way he does it so i might go in in the new year and ask him to teach me and then i'll bring the camera so he can teach you at the same time so if you do want to see that let me know in the comment section below and today we're also going to go to zara as well which we will head off and i'll pop the clip in now and then we'll go Hi everyone my name is jack ball and i am sophie's hairdresser what i want to do is just talk you through what we used on sophie's hair to achieve the look that we've got uh so sophie came to me and she was saying her hair is feeling a bit boring basically um and this is often the thing with long hair it's great when it's freshly styled and you've got somebody else blow drying it but let's be honest how often do we have somebody else blow drying our own hair especially in these times uh so what we've done is gone for a little bit of a change not dramatic but we decided to give it the chop uh we took off four inches through the bottom so Sophie has super super long hair um, which is beautiful, but it was just hanging there. It's going to be a bit flat on top because all the weight was hanging through the end. And we also gave her 50 uh, bonds from the Guides Up Pro extensions. Um, why did we use the bonds? The bonds are there purely just to give her that ba ba boom um, and also to add colour. Um, we do a little face frame on Sophie just to blend out her natural into the extensions and give her that little bit of pop around the face. Um, but actually, in terms of maintenance and quality of hair, adding the extensions means that she gets the lighter hair without having to really colour more than just the front. What I would do if I was you and you like Sophie's colour is ask your colourist what kind of colour they would recommend for you. Because when we did Sophie's colour, we looked at eye colour, skin tone and complexion. Um, to really make sure that we get the right colour for her. 
because if you get this either too cool or too warm, it can either wash you out or it can eat you a sallow. You also really want to look at eye colour because you want a good contrast. If your eye colour and your hair colour are too close, you'll lose the pop. Starting strong. I love this little jumper. I really like the detail on the neck and it's like an open neck but it's still like cozy and warm. I think this would be so good with like jeans, like jeans and coat top vibes. I also love the colour on it but it also look good with this cute little skirt. I think that's a really nice outfit as well. It could be like a Christmassy outfit and you could just put it on with some like high knee boots as well to dress it up or obviously some flare jeans would dress it down. I think this is lush. Now I like this because it had a waist tie and you know obviously a waist tie always attracts me to something and it's super soft but now I'm like mm, I don't know I think it would be nice like as a just like a shopping or like a day out outfit you could wear it with like black tights and some chunky biker boots but I don't know if it's like oh and it's 50 pound as well I think that's a bit much for like a cash outfit I do think it would be nice to throw on but I'm not sold this is my section I normally like, like all the darker colours, even though I am trying to wear more neutrals. Like obviously I tell you guys all the time, but I do love a grey and black vibe and a white shirt. I like this, I think it's quite cute, but um, I guess neither you're there, isn't it? I think it could be styled up, but this colour is still everywhere, like sage green, and I do love it, I'm still into it as well. That's cute. I do actually like that, but I don't know if I, I don't know, oversized cardigan. I don't really wear many cardigans, I don't. Ooh, although I do like this one with a tie. Like, anything with a tie can give me a bit of shape as well. I don't mind that one. I do like the colour on it. I love this, but it's just too cold now, isn't it? I don't know what I would wear it with. Although that would look good with one of them, like, jumpers that only cover half over it. I love these boots, but they're just not comfy. The contour collection in a glitzy version for Christmas. <laughs> How lush. I actually love that, to be honest. I'm not going anywhere to wear it, but if you want, like, Christmas glam loungewear, then this is where it's at, and it's only probably going to cost, like, 30 quid in total. I've got so many of these contour collections. You know how much I love the suits. I can't believe they've done it in, like, a glitzy version for Christmas. I actually think it'd be lush on as well. I think it'd be nice as well with some biker boots, even with the coat they've done it with, I think it looks lush. I think that coat, oh look they've got that one as well. They are, that's the coat that they've got on with it, which I think is lush and you could definitely wear that in so many ways. I think the skirt is cute. Like a tiny little mini skirt, I think that'd be cute. Could like wear that as a Christmas outfit, but also like make it so you can wear it all the time. I quite like that it's so tight on the waist. Could go with that, and then some tiny boots, just as like a Christmas glam. Then you could get your way out of that skirt. You could wear that skirt with anything. That's not really gonna go out of fashion ever. I love this little jumper. I think this looks quite expensive. But yeah, how much is it? Oh, 30 pound, I think that's quite good for that. Like a chunky knit. Oh, you could wear that over the leather trousers that I've got. The faux leather ones from Zara. See what's going on over here. Oh, look at that red piece. That's only coming out Christmas time, isn't it, that? That bright red cardigan or dress. What is it, dress? Yeah, dress. Oh, I like the neckline, though. Love this blazer. Someone stopped me buying it. Absolutely love it. Perfect for Christmas. But yeah, 80 quid. I love the colours in it though. It's got that little bit of sparkle as well. I think that'd be lush. Oh, this colour is everywhere and I am into it. And I love this chunky knit. Be lush with mom jeans and some nice boots. Sometimes everything just gets hard. 
And this is another chunky knit that I do like. It's like a bit of a tie. It looks a bit yellow in this light and brisk cream in person. I do like it, but again, I feel like it's, I don't know, I don't know about that. This I've got. I've worn this in a ton of my videos and everyone always asks where it's from and it's always from Zara last year and they've brought it back out finally and they've got it in like all different colours as well so this is the code if you want to grab one of these I've already got it in cream and I love it I wear it all the time a chunky knit dress I'm quite into you saw my cream one in my last video but I do like this one as well It'd be nice with a waist belt I think like I could put my Zara waist belt with this and some biker boots, I think that'd be lush. I think this is cute for work, I was thinking. Like, think about it, not done up, but with some black tights and some flat shoes and a cute bag. I think it'd be nice and I could also wear a black jumper over it as well. And then just have the frill come out the bottom. I think it'd be a good for work, work vibes. This is like the sparkliest thing I've saw across the room, but I don't think I would wear it, I just wanted to show you. These are, I've sold them on the website and they were sold out and I love them. I just don't know, like I feel like for me they're very just Christmas, but I do think they're fab and they would look stunning on. I also like this next to it, but I wouldn't wear them together. But I guess you could, but I wouldn't personally, but I do think that's kind, kind of cute. Get the cord in case you do like it. This is what I would wear over the sparkly uh, bottoms. I think it'd be fab. Sparkly bottoms underneath, white shirt and black. this black blazer over would be stunning. Like Christmas outfit on point. Love that blazer as well. I love the colors in this. Like I love this color with the lighter tone and the darker. I think it works so, so well. I just, oh, it's 120 quid, it's a lot, isn't it? And I don't think I'd personally get my way out of that, that colour coat. Because it's not the type of thing you can wear with everything, is it? But I do like this colour top, though. I love this coat. I think it's got such nice colours in it. Again, it's a little bit spenny, isn't it? But I think this might go down on the sale. But look at the colours in it. It's like oversized fit. I think it looks really chic. Seen this a ton on Instagram, loved it immediately as soon as I saw it. I saw it on the Zara website a while back. It's like a massive oversized hoodie. Would love to wear it with high knee boots or you could dress it down with just like the faux leather trousers and biker boots. I love this. If it goes on the sale, I'm going to get it. Oh, look, the sparkly section. Like they've got lots of sparkles, obviously, because it is Christmas time. So they've got all of them there. But I do think this is fab. I'm just not going anywhere to wear it this year. But I suppose we could just wear that like round, round my house on Christmas Day. Extra, but I do really like it. I think it looks lush. This top I like. I love the collar on it, like the faux leather collar. And I love that it's like a see-through vibe. And look at look at the detail as well on the arm. There's got that around the wrist as well. I think it's cute. I think this would look really good with a couple of different things. And also just look good with like plain black faux trousers. With this top with that nice like satin look almost on the collar. I think that'd be nice. Or even with like flare jeans again. I know I keep mentioning flare jeans. But I think that would be good. Jeans and cute top vibe. And that's how thin it. That's how see-through it is if you wanted to know. This is like a random section that I found. It's like a show section. So where they think that their best pieces are of the season, I think, is they put it all in one place. Personally, I don't like this because it feels like I'm having to rummage through like a sale rack. Like I'd rather them just be separate. I don't really like the, what, they're, what they're doing with this, but I do like this dress. I think it's cute. And you could layer that up by wearing something underneath it as well that was long sleeved. And then just like a waist belt and some chunky boots. Like this if you didn't have the shirt and you wanted to have that shirt jumper vibe but you hate wearing shirts underneath then this could be like a go-to for you if you if you don't personally like wearing the whole shirt because you're still getting like that vibe but without having to buy the shirt and the jumper separate i think it's a cute idea i just don't know how i feel about this like it's not really structured of shirt material it's quite soft 
all the colors though i love all these colors like sage green i love this color as well like the peaches the tones i got a black red i've been a while i can't even be bothered to go through it like i don't want to have to do this i just want it all like nicely laid out it's not a sale rack it's supposed to be the best pieces This is all in at the minute. Everyone's got these, haven't they? I do like them, but I, for me, I don't think I'd get enough way out of them. I got so many really nice coats. I don't know when I would go for this. Like, I, when I would pull that out of my wardrobe, I don't know. But I do like it. I just think you could probably get a cheaper one. This one's $89.99. It's a bit spenny. What do we think of this? <laughs> Sparkly. I do kind of like it, but I don't know. Jeans are only oh, £50 as well. I've got a lot in it. love this i love the gray coat from zara and the gray blazers and i love the gold like details on it like the hardware's in gold absolutely love i love this bag cute looks expensive I really like this outfit they've put together. Now on camera it's not doing it justice, but in person I actually really like it. Like I think I would wear this, you know. I wa I didn't like the dress when I walked past it, but now I've seen it on her with the with the on her <laughs> on the mannequin with the dress and the oh is, is it the coat? It's not the coat, is it? It's a blazer. So it's not this. There must be another blazer around you somewhere because it's definitely too short. Oh there it is. So this is the blazer obviously that she's got on absolutely love like i think it's a fab outfit you could definitely get your way out of that blazer as well like it's not just a christmas outfit the dress however possibly could be a bit of a more christmasy number like with the gold and stuff it's a little bit more christmasy but i, I would never have put it on until i seen it on the mannequin but i do like it surprisingly tiny boots as well for the win not tights so I'm back in the flat and I'm just about to take my makeup off because my skin is like super oily. I don't know why, whenever I wear tinted moisturiser instead of foundation, my skin gets really shiny. But yeah, I am just about to take my makeup off. I didn't buy anything. I was very good today, but I liked loads of stuff. Um, but yeah, obviously the sales are going to come in there. So I'm waiting for the sales and I might pick up some of the stuff I saw today in the sales. But if you are looking for like a Christmassy outfit, there was a couple in there today. So I hope you found one. But yeah. I um, didn't buy anything except for another one of these because I have worn it so much if you saw my video I no, I haven't had it long but I just honestly I just love it so I bought another one <laughs> um, just so I make sure like even if I stain this or something happens to it then I've got a backup because I honestly love it it's like my favourite thing my favourite purchase of 2020 so I literally picked up another one of these but I was very good I didn't buy anything else but I hope you like this vlog I hope you like coming to get my hair done it's a bit of a mess now because <laughs> obviously it's the end of the day like I did cool it to go out today but i've had the mask on so i'm not looking my best but yeah i hope you enjoyed coming on me with this vlog and i love vlogging for you guys and i will see you all next sunday